Hello, welcome to the CWP tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at modifying the CWP PHP configuration. Any server with CWP can have a custom PHP.ini file set either per user account or per folder. Users can manually create a PHP.ini file and add or edit any values which need to be changed. The location of the global server PHP.ini file is at user slash local slash php slash php.ini. The location of the global per account php.ini file is home slash username slash php.ini. You can also have per folder changes. For example, home slash username slash public underscore html slash website1.com slash php.ini or website2.com slash php.ini or website2.com slash myapp slash php.ini. To test your php.ini changes, simply create a phpinfo.php file in the user's public underscore html folder and add the following content in it. Angle bracket question, php, new line, php info, round brackets, semicolon, new line, question, angle bracket. Now open the URL in your browser. An Apache restart is not needed here. The URL in this example would be http colon slash slash your dash domain dot com slash php info dot php. For reference, you can look up a list that includes the php.ini directives and values you can set to configure your PHP setup, located at php.net slash manual slash en slash ini dot list dot php. One of the most commonly asked questions we hear regarding custom php.ini values is setting memory limits, so let's do an example. To upload an oversized file via file manager, We'll need to edit the CWP PHP configuration, starting with the PHP. As a best practice, let's first back up the php.ini file before we make any changes. It's located at user slash local slash CWP slash PHP 71 slash php.ini. We'll right click this file, select copy, choose our backup folder, and save a copy of the file here. Then we can click the back button on the navigation bar to go back to our last directory. Now that we're backed up, let's edit the php.ini file by clicking the edit icon, and this opens the file editor. We'll need to change the following variables. Upload max file size. By default, this value is 64 megabytes. You'll need to increase it to the maximum size of a single file that you want to upload. Post max size. This defines the maximum size of post data that PHP will accept. This value should be greater than the upload max file size. Memory limit. This sets the amount of memory a PHP script is allowed to use during its execution. Set this to a greater value than post max size so that the PHP script can load and process the uploaded file. Max input time. This sets the maximum time in seconds a script is allowed to parse input data like POST and GET. Timing begins at the moment PHP is invoked at the server, and ends when execution begins. This would include populating $_files superglobal. Max execution time. The time a script is allowed to run after its input has been parsed. This would include any processing of the file itself. So, for example, let's adjust our settings to allow a 1 gigabyte upload. First, we'll find the variable upload underscore max underscore file size. Let's change that to 1000. Next, we'll find the post underscore max underscore size. Let's change that to 1100. And then we'll find the memory underscore limit. Let's change that to 1,200. Now we'll find the max underscore input underscore time. Let's change that to 600. 
And last, we'll find the max underscore execution underscore time, which here is set to 300 seconds. Let's change that to 600. Now we can save this file. Next, we'll update the CWP server configuration file. It's located at user slash local slash CWP SRV slash CONF slash CWP SRV dot CONF. Let's make a backup of this before we do any changes. Now we'll click to edit the file and that opens the editor. Let's change that to 1100. And we can save the file. Then, for the changes to take effect, we'll have to restart the CWP server, so we can do that by opening the terminal and entering this code, sh slash scripts slash restart underscore CWP SRV, and enter. We'll receive an Ajax error, and that's normal because the session is broken when we restart the server. If you'll be using the cPanel subdomain file manager for uploading large files, for example, cPanel.domain.com, then you would need to edit all your web servers also. For Nginx, the file is located at etc slash nginx slash nginx.conf. And you'll need to adjust the client max body size variable. In our example, 1100, which is 1.1 gigabytes. For Apache, the file is located at user slash local slash apache slash conf slash httpd dot conf and here we want to find limit request body here set at approximately half a billion bytes or a little over half a gig let's change that to 1 billion 100 million which is 1.1 gigabytes if you need to configure all user php versions on the server including main php php selector and php fpm selector then you can use this script to set max upload file size to one gigabyte sh slash scripts slash php underscore big underscore file underscore upload 1000. And that's how to customize your php.ini files. For more details on customizing PHP, please refer to the following links. We hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you very much for watching.